Welcome back to Enshrouded. In last episode, we found the blacksmith, as well as crafted the charcoal kiln and the forge. So that was pretty exciting. We also got the grappling hook and the new fur armor that I have on me. And today, we are going to dive into the shroud to clear the elixir well. Because that is the next quest. If I show my HUD again, you can see the blacksmith says, Don't make me tell you again! Clear that elixir well! <laughs> and then if we go to my journal, we have that as our next quest here. Clear the elixir well, where we'll get a lot of XP as well as this boss trophy. So I think today will be our first boss fight. So I don't have a ton of preparing to do. I honestly like the weapons that I have. I like the food that I have. Just some water, some berries, some meat. I've got a bow, some arrows, some bandages. I think we'll be pretty good. The one thing I did want to do was craft a scrappy sword. Uh, just in case the boss is weak to slash damage rather than blunt damage. And I think, yeah, for that I just need three more metal scraps. So I'm gonna go head over to the scavengers over by where I freed the blacksmith. And if you remember from last time, we just put a flame altar over there so we could get over there really quick. So I'll go grab a couple scavengers, get some metal scraps and a craft a sword, just so that we have an extra weapon that may end up working better. I'll go ahead and try both the weapons on the uh, on the boss, just to see which one of them works better, so you guys can know. But, oh gosh, looks like I lured both of these guys to us. <laughs> Alright, here's a little warm-up from today. Alright, come on. Ooh, ouch. Alright. There we go, got one of them. Let's see if I can parry this guy. Oh, not quite. Okay. Blocked a little too early. Alright, this'll work. Perfect. And that should give me the metal scraps I need. Yep, there's three right there. Awesome. So let's go craft the sword and then be on our way. Here we go. Scrappy sword. That looks pretty awesome, though. Alright. <laughs> So, let's see what the stats are of it. It does 16 damage. Cutting, piercing, and a little bit of blunt. And a tiny bit of poison, actually. Interesting. And this does 17 damage, but mostly blunt. So, we'll see which one seems to work better. With that said, before I dive into the shroud to go to the elixir well, I'll just give you all a quick little update from last episode. Uh, someone in the comments of last episode told me that indeed you can zoom in and out of your character. So check this out. So thank you so much for letting me know that. That is just done by pressing Z on your keyboard, as well as the scroll wheel. So that is much easier, and uh, they didn't tell you how to do that in the tutorial, but that's a lot easier than going into settings, game, and then adjusting your little slider here in a couple different positions. So yeah, thank you so much for that tip, and I want to make sure you all know that that is still something you can do. It's just been switched to a different uh, key. So rather than Alt like it was in the demo, it is now Z by default, so that's super nice. All right, with that said, let's dive into the shroud and take care of the boss in the elixir well. I'm gonna go ahead and eat up some food just so that I am uh, that I'm good. Looks like I'm rested, and we should be ready to go. So let's do this. <laughs> I am hoping I don't get stuck here. Uh, another thing that I don't think we can do is I don't think you can teleport to a flame altar when you're in the shroud. And I want to test that really quick. So I'm in the shroud now. If I go to my map, yep, you cannot fast travel uh, when you're in the shroud. So you do have to like go up and out of the shroud. So it looks like I'll kind of have to go up here or I'll have to go right up on that hill or something when I'm done clearing the elixir well. So I will have to be very mindful of my time down in the shroud here. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of land near the outskirts here. Yep, we already see a couple of guys. Ooh, these guys are level three. Oh no, okay. That's a little more complex than the level one from before. So things are already gonna be getting a little harder. These guys are clearly weak to slash though. Here we go, we're at the elixir well. Oh, okay, okay, we're doing it. There we go, there's one. Here's another one. Okay, okay. Just have to time things well. And I think we can do this. This is a really interesting location. I feel like there's a lot to explore in this area. So let's just like have a quick look around before we go. It looks like the well, yeah, the location is right up there in between those big pillars. But if there's anything interesting down here, I may as well take it. Ooh, 
Mycelium. Mycelium overgrown block. Another recipe that we just unlocked there. Very interesting. So yeah, if there's any chests around, I also want to look for something that could possibly renew our time in the shroud here. One of the hourglasses again. But, uh, let's see. I'm hearing some... Some of the drum music, which means something's around here out to get us. So let's see. This is where the well is. Ooh, here we go. A return beacon. Awesome. It will replenish our maximum time in the shroud if we stand near it. That is really cool. Okay. Well, that's good to know. It also looks like this fur armor is way more protective than our rags, because we didn't take much damage from when that guy shot the arrow at us. Well, that's really cool. So we can just stand by this thing and regain our time in the shroud. And I think if we die, we will respawn back here as well, which is nice, because I think we're headed down there. So with that said, let's go down here. I might search the surrounding area a little when I come back up, just to make sure I got everything. But, let's see what we gotta do. Looks like I'm already out of food again. Let's just go ahead and eat another berry there. Alright. And continue heading down. We've got 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh gosh. <laughs> We're a ways down here. Alright. Anything interesting over here? Does not look like it. Okay. Oh, we do have a chest. Okay. Ooh, ice bolt and health potion. Interesting. Alright, well I will gladly take the health potion. And, uh, yeah. I'll start the fight off with my club because I think it's right in here. Yeah. Fell Thunder Brute. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Okay. Golly, this thing is... This thing is no joke. So that's how the club does against it. Ooh! Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm parried. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my. Alright, let's get a bandage. Youch, youch, okay. Oh, he doesn't just stay in his realm. Okay. Roll, block. Oh gosh, he can block as well. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my. Okay, this guy, this guy is nuts. Let's try the slash against him. See if he's weaker to the sword. That would be probably good. Okay, he's just blocking 100% of our hits. Can I block him? Golly, it takes a lot of stamina. Ooh, yeah. I do think the sword and the club, they're actually kind of similar. So we're doing 22 damage with the sword. And we're only 16 with the club. Okay. So let's use the sword here. Ouch. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. Okay, I'm parried again. This is a tough fight. Oh, now I'm only doing 15 with a sword. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, my. All right. Things are getting a little tougher. And there we go. Ooh, a shroud core. The head, runes, and misfortune mace. 21 damage, piercing and blunt. A legendary weapon. Well, heck, that looks really nice. Wow. <laughs> that looks awesome. So maybe I want to upgrade that at the, at the uh, blacksmith, because I think we can upgrade it. So I'll try that when I go. One thing, though, we only have two minutes left down here. I think we have to cut down this root. Uh, let's see. Let's go to my axe here. Yeah, shroud root, the source of our misery. Destroy it with a felling axe and prosper. Okay. Am I? Yep, I'm doing damage to it. There we go. We got skill points. Ooh, and it actually took away the shroud down here, so we can get our time back. Oh, that's really nice. Quest completed. Clear the elixir well, and we unlock some more quests and things, so we'll take a look at that later on. This is a really cool place. Oh, well, that's neat. I don't think that cleared the shroud in the demo, so this is pretty cool that it actually clears the shroud when you chop it down now for you to get your time back and stuff. Yeah, this spot looks pretty spooky. It's like magma down there and things. I don't think I want to step on that. <laughs> Alright, well let's get another bandage applied. And let's make our way back up to the surface. And I think with this new mace, it is a two-handed weapon, so we can't have a shield along with it. But I think that'll be okay. So yeah, we'll just make our way up these stairs. It looks like we are pretty much free of the shroud. There's still no shroud up here. 
which is cool. Does that mean all of the shroud in this area is cleared? Ooh, we have a chest over here. Ooh, a crackling wand. Interesting, 14 damage and it does fire. So now we have a fire and an ice wand. Let's check this thing out. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, that's nice. Always worth unlocking new stuff. Okay, it looks like we have to go in here and then climb up this to get out. And yeah, we are safe. There's no shroud in this little area anymore. That's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, we've got some new some new guys over here. So let me go ahead and eat another berry because those regenerate our health. Ooh, ouch, 55 damage. Okay, can I at least block it? Oh, this is slow, this is slow. This is, oh man, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like that. Let's drink a health potion and let's use the sword instead. Yeah, the sword. The sword's a little better just from the speed. Alright. Oh gosh. He can block the sword, which is the only issue there. There we go. We got one. There we go. We got two. Yeah, so sometimes certain weapons are better than others. Even if that mace seems like it's really good, it's just too slow. Let's parry this guy. This is very nice. No longer in the shroud. Alright. So I wonder, yeah, I'm guessing in a few in-game days the shroud will be back and this location will be replenished. Assuming like your friends wanted to come back here and uh, take out the boss for themselves and such. So I'm guessing that will be a thing. But let's see, now that we don't have shroud on us, let's, uh, let's look around here a little bit. We do have a... one of the little hourglasses over here, so that's pretty cool. We can renew our time if we did get stuck. Ooh, we have a journal over here. I hear the drums, though. I hope nothing's on me. Oh! Whoa! That's new. Alright. Some guy that can throw stuff at me. Okay. Well, let's take that out. <laughs> Search. Alright, more cloth scraps. And let's go ahead and read whatever this is. Ooh, we have a potion here. Shroud survival flask. Interesting. So that probably, let's see. Plus two minutes maximum time in the shroud. Well, that'll come in handy at some point. So what is this? On Elixir Well, the spring of the elixir. Another elixir well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away tirelessly to gouge the tunnel into the earth. The plans for this construction are otherworldly. The chasm spits fumes with every jab. Thin veils of mist cause headaches and irritate the eyes. All for the elixir. I hope this foul air will not spread to Lone Thistle. Alright, Balthazar. Well, I clearly did. The air spread and the shroud consumed everything. So yeah, this was the source of it at one point. So, interesting, okay. Well, now that we are out of it in this little area, I think that's everything that's around here. So, let's go ahead and teleport back to the surface. Just look at these locations, though. Like, we might have to do an episode just on exploring some of this stuff. But let's go ahead and zoom out, go back to our house here. So we can fast travel as long as we're not in the shroud, which is good. And here we go! We have another thing unlocked here at the flame. Embervale can be reclaimed. Collect sparks and offer them at the flame altar to strengthen the flame. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. Okay. So I guess that's how we get sparks, and again, that's how we can strengthen the flame here. Yep, the sparks. Interesting. Okay, and that'll increase our capacity and it'll give us a bunch of buffs and things. Awesome. Ooh, and we have some new stuff at the blacksmith as well. I see you managed to clear the elixir well. Keep it up, and you might start to become popular around here. <laughs> what is it? All right. Scaling the Ancient Spire. Embervale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the land. The Ancient Spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. Awesome. All right. So all these new locations charted. Let's go to the journal and see what new stuff we've got. Flame altar and base improvement. Okay, so that's strengthening the flame. We have to go and find those sparks there. And then the Ancient Spire. Yeah, the blacksmith says scaling the Ancient Spire will reveal more of the Springlands. 
The one he mentioned isn't too far from here, and I'm guessing that's what we can show on the map. F to show on the map. Yep, there we go. Ancient Spires. Okay. And then, uh, Forge a Weapon. Interesting. So we have to go there for some reason. I haven't gone there yet. Um, Flame Altar and Base Improvements. Okay, so that might be where we find a Flame Spark. So that's pretty cool. So those are for our future quests there. Another thing too, now that it's getting darker out, is I wanted to craft a little bit of light uh, to see how things would look at nighttime here. If we go to the illumination, I'd love to make a couple of these firefly lamps. I actually have to gather more fireflies, but I was thinking a little one right outside here, maybe on the deck post behind this bench here could look really nice. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put one down right here. Just see what the with the little ambience of it. Look at that! They kind of flutter around. It's just a very soft, subtle light compared to a torch or something. So that's how our house is looking at nighttime now. You can actually see some light coming out of the windows and everything. Yeah, it's getting pretty cozy. So I really like how the deck has turned out here. Gone ahead and moved my two storage chests that were down there up to here. Kind of just backed them into these pillars a little bit. One for my old armor and then one for my other resources for now. And we cannot build from these chests. That was a question in the last episode as well. Uh, if these chests are placed with stuff in them, we can't build from them. But uh, when you craft the better chests uh, that we unlock with the blacksmith and stuff, anything in those chests will basically be able to build from. So that is another question because in the demo and stuff, you could build from any chest that was placed. So that confused me a little bit at first as well. And with that said, we probably should get some of the better chests being built here soon because I don't have any of those yet. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's go to sleep and then maybe get to, uh, get to some more questing or exploring today. We'll see. I think I'll save the Ancient Spire maybe for the next episode. But we could try to go to the, uh, to the spot to get the spark here in this location. And there we go. It is now morning time. <laughs> so, yeah, this is kind of just the little bedroom of the build. I love how you can look out the window and kind of see it change from day to night. Someone commented that in one of the episodes too. It's super cool. Really unique and beautiful experience there. So yeah, I just put a little like crude nightstand there and a little table. <laughs> Bedside table and then a little tiny fireplace to get some warmth there. So that's nice. Alright, so with all of that, I do think the next thing we have to do is, yeah, collect sparks. So, uh, given how fast we took out the boss there, I think we have time to collect some sparks in this episode. So, let's see. I just want to go over, like, what new stuff we've unlocked. Ooh, mycelium overgrown block. That looks pretty interesting. That could be a cool block. I think, yeah, that was the new one that we unlocked there. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way over to, uh... Make our way over to those flame sparks. It looks like that is the location that we're currently headed toward. Yep, right there. 700, a little over 700 meters away there. So that almost looks like it might be up near the mountains there because uh, it's not across the bridge. It's kind of over this way and we actually have another little area over here, uh, which looks like it requires the grappling hook here. Yep, there we go. Okay. And it does take stamina to grapple, so I'll just have to wait a little bit there. And then there we go, pressing spacebar, and we have to save up a little more stamina. <laughs> so, uh, actually, let me drink a water there. That'll help with our stamina. Oh, this is pretty cool. So now that we have the grappling hook, we can, uh, come across all of these awesome locations. So let's see. Ooh, this looks like it might be another camp of some sort. Let's grab my shield and things, and let's see, could I- oh, there's a barrel over there. Wonder if I could hit it from over here. Did that do any damage? Nope, it did not do any damage on, uh, on this guy who's standing right there. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately he was not standing near the barrels, so. Ooh, and we have a wolf over here. Oh gosh. Ouch, okay. Oh, another level three. So everything over here is level three. Ow, ow, okay. Oh gosh, we're, we're about to die. Yeah, this isn't good. There we go. <laughs> Things are getting tougher already. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and loot that. See what this guy gives. More metal scraps. Very nice. Alright, anything on the shelf here? We've got lots of... Lots of wood. Another cool little point of interest over here. Oh, we can grapple up it as well. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Another chest. More health and arrows. Definitely don't mind if I do. Alright. And, uh, let's see. Oh, my backpack is full. What is it wanting us to loot? You know what? I might just make a quick run by the house and deposit some of this stuff, and then we'll be right back here shortly to read this journal. Okay, we're back now. I deposited some stuff in my inventory. Let's go ahead and read what this is here. Careful with this shipment. Argon, take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said it is highly volatile, apparently. The explosives explode if jostled or tossed about. Who would have known? Anyway, I paid a pretty penny for this. Do not mess around in here. I can't afford to fix another hole in the wall. Okay. So, uh, yep. That's why, uh, the floor is blown out over here. Someone was messing around with explosives. Old books. Interesting. Bones. Collect up. Oh, explosive powder ball. That's what all these are. They're kind of, uh, sitting down into the floor here. Interesting. Okay. So that's what those are. We also have some explosive barrels over there. Uh, so just for fun, let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's go ahead and shoot them. Alright. Ooh, and a chest down here. Alright. Use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Explosive barrels are detonated at range. Alright, so it just tells us that again. But we have a chest in here with a 14 damage hatchet here. Cutting and blunt. Well, that looks nice. Okay. So I guess, yeah, that was worth uh, detonating explosives to find. So do we continue up this path, I'm guessing? It looks like this kind of goes uh, a little closer to where we're headed. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and eat some stuff again. Because uh, this looks a little... A little like a camp up here. Alright, yeah, it's it's definitely gonna make us go through this. Okay. Scavenger camp with mineshaft. Okay. New location charted. Well, let's see what we got over here. We do have a wolf. Oh, gosh, that's like, that's like a big guy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, level three, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Yep, we parried. Alright, he's gonna block as well. Now we gotta block. Alright. So if I time this stuff and just kind of aggro them one at a time, I think this will still work. Ooh, we got some more elixir there, which gives us a big damage buff, actually. You know what? I'm going to uh, go here and I'm going to use. And there we go. Now we should do a lot of damage, but we actually have a little less time in the shroud. But because we're not in the shroud... Yeah, check that out. Now we're just going to take care of this guy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> So Elixir is nice there. You can see their Elixir buff and Elixir crazed. So the Elixir crazed is uh, less time in the shroud. I think by one minute. All right, we have another journal here. He'll be fine down there. Deodor fares well. Cease your prattle. He has a shovel and fortitude. He'll be out of the mine shaft shortly. Perhaps he plays a prank on us. That scamp. Pray tell. Did you put some provisions in there, Hans? All the same, he'll survive. Hey, the chest was fine bait, although we had some need of it. Fie. Should have considered this before. Okay. So where is the mineshaft? Ooh, here it is, clearly. Okay. It looks like they actually have explosives in it. Can I shoot those? Oh, hang on. Yep, I can. Okay. <laughs> and here's a chest. Another explosive powder ball. Okay, awesome. Ooh. So, clearly, here's a dead guy. Maybe that's Hans? Let's see. Curse these numbskulls. They nigh blew me to smithereens, those scoundrels. Dieter, go witness. We discovered a chest in the new tunnel. I swear it. Nay, Dieter. Tis no jest. Observe for yourself. My mouth is choked with dust, and my hands are numb from digging. My nails splinter. I am finished. Vicious curs, may the shroud take you all. Alright, wow. 
Lots of really deep, depressing scrolls here. Hunter's Bow. Alright, don't mind if I do. What are the stats on that? So here's our normal one. Eight power. And one second draw speed, 100 max durability. 250 max durability. Plus 20% arrow speed, one second draw speed, and 10 power. I am definitely wanting that. So, uh, let's go ahead and just unequip this one. Let's go ahead and equip this one. And I could just go ahead and delete that one, I suppose. Maybe I'll keep it around, but, uh, yeah. Wow, that's, uh, that's a little better than our old bow. Okay. So that was worth going into that mineshaft. Looks like that's just a bunch more flint in there. Okay. Well, let's continue onward over in this direction. Looks like we have some rabbits there. Looks fairly safe right now. Ooh, there's a little point of interest over here. Alright, yeah, don't mind if I do, guys. There's just so many cool little things to explore in this game. I feel like it's a big part of the- Oh! Golly! Okay. Uh, that- that didn't look so friendly. <laughs> we got some- a fur patch from that and a fire, so it looks like this was a camp from, uh, someone a while ago. Interesting. So many little story elements to this game. Alright, let's continue on the path here. I like how it kind of gives you these paths here to to sort of lead you in the right direction. Like, I'm guessing this is probably what's going to go past the, uh, the Flame Shrine, I think, is what it was called or something like that. It will give us the spark, so... Alright, we have a wolf. It's coming up on us. Man, they aggro from far away. That's pretty crazy. So it looks like I'm going to go this way. There's also that path up there, but, uh... Let's see, it looks like this one looped around. Let's see here. This one kind of goes down that way with some more scavengers. So yeah, let's let's head on let's head on the one up here. This is insane though. You guys will have so much fun in this game, just walking around exploring stuff like that. And it obviously gets much more difficult combat-wise as we uh, as we come farther out over here. So where does this one go? Does it fork off anywhere? Yeah, it kind of does right here. Okay, what is up here? More shroud. Okay. Interesting. So let's head this way then. That's getting closer to that, uh, to that map marker there. Okay, do we kind of lead up the mountain? This almost looks like we go in the mountain for this. This is kind of spooky and pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we're getting really close. Only 37 meters away. There's something up here. Okay. Oh. That doesn't sound too good. I heard like a big growl. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, let me just... Let me just go ahead and eat. The music doesn't sound too friendly right now. So what is this? A flame sanctum. Okay. So this is where we get the spark. Ooh, we got a level up. Nice! And speaking of a level up, let's go to our skill tree here. And uh, let's do... Ooh, nice, we've got six because we also got the level up from the boss in the elixir well. So let's do runner. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Sprinting speed increased by 10% and stamina consumption decreased by 10%. And double jump, we can go ahead and unlock that. Yay! <laughs> Amazing. All right. So we've got a lot of cool features with jumping and everything, so we can just jump twice. It'll allow us to get up to places like uh, on top of here. That's amazing. Okay. And then we can just press it three times for the, uh, for the glider. Super cool. Okay. Well, let's head in here. Open. Anything I have to be worried about? Okay. Well, here's a flame or something here. I'm guessing that's a return beacon. Let's see. These lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offer its sparks at the flame altar in your home. Okay. So, yeah, it did not offer them any, any refuge, so uh, let's see what this journal says. My dearest Helen, please hold your tears and sit by my side. Let us gaze over the valley, as we've done before. The setting sun and falling leaves are like our brief and precious time. Let us share these hours before they're swept away by the shroud. Come rest your head in my shoulders. 
by Daffodil. Yours forever. What a sad story. Okay. Um, collect. There we go. We got a spark. Awesome. So that's how we can go and strengthen the flame. If we go back to our journal, and there we go. Flame altar, base improvement. You've obtained a spark. Use the spark to strengthen your flame at your flame altar. All right. So there we go. Yeah, strengthen it to increase your shroud passage level and establish more bases. Cool. So let's go ahead and fast travel back to my house here. All right, we're back. Commune with the flame. And there we go. The strengthened flame there. We need more animal fur, shroud liquid, bones, red mushrooms, and resin. So nothing too hard to get. You remember we get shroud liquid from those like, like explodey plant things in the shroud. We just kind of hit E to collect, so I'll go grab some of that. I think we might have some animal fur, bones, red mushrooms, and all that stuff. Let's see what I have in here. Alright, yeah, so I've got animal fur. I've got the bones here. Uh, let's see. Do I have resin? I know I've got some mushrooms. It looks like I don't have resin, so I'll just chop down a few more trees there. I do have some mushrooms here, though. So that's good. Let's go ahead and put those in place of maybe the shroud potion for now. So, and then I think, yeah, I think we had more, uh... Let's see, did I already have it in my inventory? Yeah, here's the shroud liquid that we have uh, so far. So let me just replace that. There we go, put my cloth in there. So let's see. What are we missing now? All right, so yeah, just some resin and a few shroud liquid there. Awesome, so let's get to chopping trees and I'll show you guys the shroud liquid and how you get that just one more time. All right, there we go. We've got the resin we need now. So let's head into the shroud and grab some shroud liquid here. Man, the gliding is so fun. This is so cool. So I think it was like at these things, or like, not those, but the little, uh... Little, like, fluffy things. Uh, the more rounded ones. Alright, there's that. Shroud liquid. Oh gosh, let's just, uh... Get those guys taken care of. So collect, what does that give us? There we go, shroud liquid. So I guess, like, these little plants will give it to us. Uh, and I think that's plenty. Uh, cool, okay. I thought we could also get it from, uh... From, like, these... Yeah, these little, like, mushroom things. Yeah. Collect, there we go. Yeah, so we can also get shroud wood from these. These little mushroom balls. Okay, so there we go. That should be plenty. Let's go back up and strengthen the flame. Okay. Here we are. Strengthen the flame. That's everything we need, and we will get four altars as our capacity now. Ooh, a character attribute bonuses. Interesting. Shroud passage level one to two, and we'll get six minutes instead of five minutes as our default in the shroud. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Quest completed, and we leveled up again. Flame level up to level two now. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and commune with it. The spark of knowledge has erupted within. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets of our past. Find the two ancient obelisks of the Springlands to learn of the world's fate. A story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. Okay, find the two ancient obelisks. Interesting, all right. So that's two more locations that were added. Uh, ooh, all the way out here. All right, story of fire. And then this is the ancient spire that we have to do. Ooh, and one all the way out here. All right, and story of rot. Okay, I hope I'm pronouncing these things right. Uh, let me know if I'm, like, butchering words in the comments. <laughs> so, yeah, I think with that said, uh, the next thing is the ancient spire. Uh, which I will probably save for next episode. Ooh, we have another thing in the flame altar. Let's see here. My glow and warmth reach farther into the darkness. Thanks to you, Flameborn. I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, now we can, I think, upgrading the altar is what increases the building area. And it over- yeah, it already doubles it from what it previously was. And that's what we do with our Shroud Core. 
Interesting. Okay, and that's what we got from the boss down there. Cool. Well, we may as well do that. Upgrade altar. Alright. Maybe I didn't really need to, but I will for the sake of the video here and, uh, yeah. In case we want to build some more or whatever. It also fixed that tree from last episode, so there's no more random tree textures, uh, just like I was saying last time. So yeah, if we go back into our hammer, you can see now that our boundary is all the way out here. So we've got a lot of space just with one upgrade, and we can upgrade it like quite a few times, I think. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That is amazing. Alright. So yeah, in next episode, we will go to the Ancient Spire. We also have the, uh, better armor here. <laughs> Stop your procrastinating. Climb to that Ancient Spire. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So yeah, we, we still have to craft the, uh, Rising Fighter set. Which we can make, like, a piece of right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not a, not a whole lot there. We've got shields. Let's see. Rising Fighter Shield. Well, that looks really nice. So yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and make that at the beginning of next episode. Uh, or one of these pieces of armor. But either way, I think we will try to find a better spot to find metal scraps soon. Because the metal scraps are pretty scarce right now. So it probably wants us to adventure through the game a little more before we make the full Rising Fighter set. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Another super fun one, as always. I really can't wait for more building. I know a lot of these episodes, the next ones to come and such, will be a lot of adventure in this beautiful world. Because, of course, the adventure is needed first to uh, get geared up, explore all of the beautiful locations and possibilities to try to find a cool spot to settle in. Like I said, I'd love to do like a Hobbit House Village, a medieval little town and stuff. Maybe a castle on a mountain. <laughs> Lots of cool things down the road. So definitely be sure to subscribe. Thanks again a ton to all of my channel members. Join the Discord server through the link in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.